see what Brandine does. She bark, she get the coon. Good girl. Good girl. That's how you start them training, looking up. Good girl. Good girl. I better play with it for a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. Do it again. Gotta teach your dogs to look up. Good girl, Brandane. Good girl, Brandane. Good girl. Good girl. Teach your dogs to look up. Good girl. Good girl, Brandane. Good girl. Good girl. Do it again. Good girl. Good girl, Brandane. So this is level two of tree training, okay? So level two is pretty much what people call having glue on your dog when they get to the tree. So pretty much you let the pup stay on that coon, let them chew on it, let them lay on it, let them chew on it, create that separation between you and them. Create that loneliness. That's the first thought. If they want to come near you, just keep walking, ignore them. See that? Just walk away, create that separation. Create that separation. That's very important. Let them have that alone time with that coon. That's where the glue starts. Put the coon hot on limb real high. Where she see it and back away. Slowly back away. Good girl, Brandane. Back away, create that space again. Create that space. She gonna wanna look at you. It's okay. Good girl, Brandane, get that coon. Good girl. Create that space, create that separation. See that? But once that pup gets it down pat, of staying locked down on that tree, creating that separation. What you do now is put the coon higher, right? The dog's gonna tree, but you are gonna walk closer to the dog and kneel down, okay? The pup's naturally gonna wanna come to you, okay? If they do that, grab their head, turn them to the tree, give them a little, little motivation push, nice and gentle, get on that coon or get on that tree, whatever you use. And they start barking, praise them, and do that over and over again. And it will work. Get on that tree, get that coon. Get on that, get that coon. Good girl, Brandane. Good girl, Brandane. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Brandane. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. All right, get on that tree. Get on that tree. Good girl, Brandane. I want my dog to stay without a lead. So that's why I train without a lead. 
The only time I want my dog on the lean is when I'm hiking him out or I tree time somewhere else. Because I don't want my dog to think that treeing and staying, you know, relates to a lead. I don't want that. So that's why I train my pups and hounds without leads. Good girl, good girl.